all you rabbits and bunnies out there. We are back in Mrs. Mayo's in a home art studio. We're gonna do something fun this week. We're gonna do spring animals. It's really starting to feel like spring or it certainly did today. So I thought it would be fun if we focused on one spring animal portrait in a way you are gonna feel comfortable, which um, I think all my third and fourth graders are certainly gonna feel comfortable with Zen Tangles. It's been a big idea several times throughout the year. So we're gonna do a line drawing of a spring creature. I'm gonna focus on a rabbit or a bunny, but you could certainly select a bear or another personal favorite of mine, a fox, and fill the interior with lines or Zen Tangles. And then the outside could remain plain or you could fill it with simple if you have access to spring colors. Let's start. Um, like always, it's always a great idea to start with the largest Aries first, but for my uh, rabbit portrait, I'm actually gonna start with the center first, which we break everything down to basic shapes as artists, and I'm gonna start with this circle shape I see in the center of my rabbit's face in the um, bottom half of my Page and not a perfect circle and that's okay all right so guys I actually had to start over a couple times because I was making mistakes so you're gonna see I started with a colored pencil so please start with pencil my friends I'm now gonna go over with permanent marker I again have a plethora of art making materials as an artist if you don't have that that is okay so um, we are outlining our bunny um, and you are to draw the shapes the basic 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 shapes first and then fill it in with those entangles or just line designs um, he's super cute super 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 cute Nothing says spring like a bunny, that's for sure. No matter what your jam is, holiday-wise. Super adorable. You always wanna leave that little reflection in the eye, for sure, or two. Sometimes that chibi or anime sort of look is more than one. So um, you can always do that. And I always like to give it like eyelashes because, you know, I like the well, bunnies too have um, really um, pronounced eyelashes, but you do you. You certainly don't have to do that. Um, now I'm going to really exaggerate those jackalope ears. <laughs> it's not jackalope. I'm not giving you a horse. But Aww. Now, just like I was saying for weeks one and two, so much of what we're gonna do here from home is going to be based on what you have access to materials wise. So I'm gonna stop with this marker now and I'm gonna switch to a pen to work on some of those Zentangle marks. So if you don't have a Sharpie, you can just start with um, a pen and do the whole thing in pen. Hopefully you have access, I hope, to a, a pen. Um, and we are going to paint the background, but if you cannot, that is okay. I felt like I needed a little more variety there. Um, I'm going to color it in. Now, again, too, when things are stressful, remember Zen tangles are so, so relaxing and good for you. Like doodling is. So, if you're ever feeling stressed, like, bombarded with the amount of work you have to do it is always a great idea to do some doodles that is part of why I've incorporated this element of this project here those geese really spring <laughs> or as little as you wish. Um, 
And I'm gonna keep my bunny black and white, but you certainly could add some color. Maybe you wanna make the nose, I don't know, pink. I'm gonna give mine some whiskeys. You do what you see fit. Um, now I wanna talk about, well, let me give you some more examples for um, these untangle designs. Remember, there's no right or wrong with entangles. It's essentially a doodle. Um, so I'm really thinking spring things like rainbows and whatever. And go with that. Now, um, essentially, we're going to make believe that I have completed my bunny. Um, with Zen Tangles, too, do keep in mind line variety always really makes it pop. So when that means when you switch from thick to thin line. So I'm going to switch to a Sharpie at some point before I complete this for you to, to make my slideshow. Um, but then I want you to think about a background. So like I shared with you, I'm going to do my bunny in black and white, the whole thing. But then I'm going to paint the background in pastels. And I'm just going to have a rainbow coming off of my um, bunny. If you know me, you know I love, 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 love rainbows. So you could use any type of paint you have. Like these type of watercolors would work. I happen to have these Crayola washable temper paints and maybe... Maybe you do too. Um, that's what I'm gonna use for my background. I think it's gonna give it a really springy, fun feel. Now, again, it's always a great idea to plan it out first. So, I'm gonna really take from that artist we looked at in class around uh, February, Chris Uphughes, and think of his rainbows that made different types of line. And I think I'm gonna use one other color. I'll go with green. There we go. Um, so, I'm gonna start, and this is not a real rainbow, but obviously, because it's not. So I'm going to kind of map my rainbow out with my pink, though, as my directional rainbow. Now, again, you can do whatever you want. You could just leave it white if you want, if you don't have access to paint. Totally your artist choice. Alrighty. One last one there. Now I'm going to thicken those up just a little bit. Really go over them a little bit and add one more right here. Now you can see this is Crayola. Um, you know, this is paint I use with my little ones. So it's very um, translucent compared to some of the paint we use in class, which means it's it's more like, it almost has the appearance of watercolor. I like it. It, it has a really fluid feel to it. Um, I actually am gonna change that line. It wasn't working for me. There we go. Kinda switching it up, making it Now I'm gonna wash my brush because I'm changing my colors. And I, you'll see I have my paper towel here. Now 
do look out for my uh, pictures I'm gonna share with the project. So you can see my final bunny. I'm nowhere near done. And I know you're gonna do, as I so often say, in class a better job than I did because I was rushing to share with you. Changing colors, gonna wash my brush. But you're gonna see those colors are really gonna make that Oh my gosh, on my new computer. <laughs> Those colors are gonna make that black and white really pop out, stand out. And again, art's a process and painting is a process. You work in layers like an onion. So you may have to redo some and that's okay. my green. Don't forget to sign your artwork somewhere, guys, too. And remember, your green with your um, pink is going to make brown, so be aware of that. All right, I don't know, it's a little all over the place, but I had fun doing it. I hope you do too. It's springy, it's bright and colorful. I had a lot of fun painting, um, and I'm still gonna work on my, my rabbit here in these areas, add more zen tangles, play with my line quality, more thick and thin and medium sized lines throughout. Be on the lookout for my final product. Don't forget to put your name and your artwork somewhere. Can't wait to see what you guys create. I miss you all. I hope you're well. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Enjoy, guys. Have a great long weekend.